Hello Kido, Sir E is here and for this video we will have the last part of our lesson on electric motor and we will talk about DC motor or direct current motor. <laughs> Let's have a short recall of what we have discussed in the second part of this lesson. And let's focus on the Fleming's left-hand rule. Again, in the Fleming's left-hand rule, we are using our thumb, forefinger or pointing finger, and also the middle finger. The thumb represents the direction of force. The forefinger or the pointing finger represents the direction of magnetic field. And lastly, the middle finger represents the direction of the current. We are using Fleming's left-hand rule to know the direction of the force. Kung saan gagalaw o mapupunta yung conductor natin as it encounters the force. Tatandaan lang sa paggamit natin ng Fleming's left-hand rule for the direction of the magnetic field lagging from north to south. North to south. Then, for the direction of current, always remember that we are following the conventional current. Ibig sabihin nun, the current is moving from positive terminal to negative terminal. At pag na-identify niyo na ang direction ng magnetic field at ng current, malalaman na natin ang direction ng force. This time, let's focus on the forces on a current carrying coil in a magnetic field. So let's have this diagram. So we have here a wire coil labeled A, B, C, and D. So placed between the poles of a magnet. So this is our magnet, north and south. Then the P here is the plane. Kung naaalala ninyo, sa coil, meron tayong dalawang side. And these two sides are always having opposite direction of current. Therefore, opposite direction of magnetic field. What if it is placed in another magnetic field na napoproduce naman ng ating magnet? So ang tanong ay, saan kaya gagalaw na direction ang ating wire coil? So anong mangyayari dito? So we can apply the Fleming's left-hand rule in this case. So let's have it step by step. So let's start with the direction of the magnetic field. So again, it is always from north to south. Pwede nyo kong sundan or pwede nyo itong gawin habang dinidiscuss ko sa inyo ito. Uh, mirror yung image ko, kaya please follow my instructions very carefully. So again, the direction of the magnetic field is from north to south. This time, let's have, let's use the middle finger to point to the direction of the current. Let's focus first on A and B. So the direction is upward. So therefore, the force will move this way. And as you see, the arrow is pointing there. Okay. Then let's have the other side. So again, magnetic field, the same position or direction. But this time, the current in side C and D is downward. So therefore, the direction of force is towards U. So just like this one. Here, this arrow. 
So that's how we use Fleming left hand rule in this case. So sir, sa anong direction nga gagalaw ang coil wire? So ibig sabihin, kung napansin ninyo, ay opposite ang movement nito. So it only means that it will rotate. This coil will rotate because of the forces present in here. And this rotation is what we call the turning effect. So this is our illustration a while ago. And this is the other view on how we can show the direction of the force. This time it is top view. So as we use this illustration on the right side, the magnetic field is pointing from north to south. Then the dot, it means that the current is outward. So it means towards you. So therefore, the force is moving up. So that's why the arrow is upward. Now, here on the other side, still the magnetic field is pointing from north to south. Then the direction of the current is into the paper or away from you. And with that, the direction of force is downward. Once more, this will cause the what we call turning effect. So the question is, how can we increase the turning effect on coil A, B, C, D? So we can do the following. The first one is to increase the number of turns on the wire coil. So the more turns we add, the stronger the turning effect. Second, we can also increase the current in the wire coil. So what is the application of this turning effect? This is observed in what we call DC motor. DC stands for direct current. So when we say direct current, it means that the charges are moving in or a single direction only. And it looks like this one. Maaring pamilyar kayo sa itsura nito. So ano nga ba ang DC motor? So, DC motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. It means, yung kuryente na dumadaloy sa wire coil natin ay magkukos ng mechanical energy. So, one form of mechanical energy is kinetic energy, which is the energy possessed by a moving object. So, gagalaw ang coil na ito. So that's why it is called turning effect. Pero saan ba natin nakikita ang mga DC motor na ito? Pwede natin ito makita sa mga appliances natin tulad ng mga DVD players and electric fan at gayon din yung mga battery-operated toys. The next question is, how does the DC motor work? So una, alamin muna natin ang mga components na ito. Meron tayong apat na primary components ng DC motor. So the first one is the rectangular wire coil. At ito yon, yung kulay pink sa ating diagram. Pangalawa is the permanent magnet. So the permanent magnet is here, the north and the south. Pangatlo, the split ring commutator. And the split ring commutator here is this one. And lastly, the carbon brushes. So we have two. So here's the carbon brushes, which is directly connected to the split ring commutator. Pero ano nga ba ang functions ng mga ito? Una, ang rectangular wire, alam natin na ito ay magiging passageway ng current. 
at pag dumaan ang current dito ang electricity, ito ay makakapag-produce ng magnetic field. Number two, the permanent magnet. So alam natin na ang magnet ay may natural magnetic field. So mag interact yung dalawang magnetic field. Ano naman ang function ni split ring commutator at ni two carbon brushes? Later, we will explain. Pero paano nga ba gumagana ang isang DC motor? In this illustration, pinapakita na ang movement ng rectangular coil ay counterclockwise. Eh sir, bakit po naging counterclockwise? So as we analyze it and as we apply the Fleming's left-hand rule, AB side is having a downward force while the CD side will have an upward force. So the movement is counterclockwise. Tatandaan natin na ang movement na to ng rectangular coil ay tinatawag nating turning effect which is caused by the interaction of the magnetic field of our strong magnet and also the magnetic field produced in the current carrying coil. So as it turns, we will have this position. So there will be switching. And later on, it will look like this. So kung makikita nyo, nagpalit na C, C and B, and B and A. And this one is what we call half of a revolution. So kalahati ng isang revolution or isang cycle. So what is the function of the split ring commutators? So ito na yung function ni split ring commutator. So to reverse the direction of the current in the coil every half of the revolution. Kung naalala ninyo, from this position, we will have this one. And this is our half of a revolution. With the help of the split ring commutator, it will reverse the direction. What's the purpose of that? To ensure that the coil continues to turn in the same direction. So until such time na bumalik ito sa original position nila. And that's what we call one complete revolution. And continuously, it will happen and happen. So anong mangyayari? As this coil is turning, the appliances or maybe the battery-operated toy will move. Ano naman ang function ni carbon brushes? Ito ay directly connected to the commutator and it is constantly rubbing onto it. And it is directly connected to the battery. So, ina-assure ni carbon brushes that the current can pass through the coil. So how can we increase the turning effect on a current carrying coil in a DC motor? So paano nga ba? So we have several ways to improve the turning effect on a DC motor. So the first one, we can increase the number of turns in the coil. So in the example, we only have one turn for that coil. So we can add more. And the more we add, the higher the turning effect. Next, we can also increase the current in the coil. Also, we can use stronger magnets. And lastly, we can insert a soft iron core into the coil. At sa pamamagitan ng mga ito, mapapa taas natin ang turning effect sa mga DC motors ng appliances natin at ng mga laruang battery operated. These are the references used. And that's it. We are done. I hope you understood the lesson on simple electric motor. Please watch my next teach vlog on AC generator. See you again. 
and enjoy learning. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>